not all the time when I'm out on the trails am I traveling with uh, other ham radio enthusiasts that have a license and a ham radio and a lot of times I don't even have a cell phone that's working with me so what's the answer well I kind of like to dive back into that tool chest analogy remember a while back I was talking about the right tool for your tool chest and how not all tools are appropriate at all times. The uh, tool chest today suggests something a little bit different and we're going to take a look at that this time on K6 UDA Radio. You know, you might have seen uh, a few of these 11 meter antennas hanging off of the back of Jeeps, Toyotas, all kinds of four wheel drive units. And that's because CB is big and prevalent in the four wheel drive community. You see, there's no license needed, no, uh, no fuss, no muss. Well, the folks at President Communications, they sent me uh, this president bill to review we're gonna take a quick look at it now coming in at just over the size of a standard Baofeng uh, 2 meter 440 ham radio the president bill is perfect for the tight quarters inside of a Jeep now, while this is outside my wheelhouse just a little bit, it is a radio with a specific purpose. If you travel with people uh, by car, by RV, by Jeep, and uh, those people aren't necessarily hams, something like this can keep you in communication with that group of people. Now, it's been many, many years since I've owned a CB, and I was actually looking for one, when president reached out to me. I was very pleasantly surprised to see all of the features that this radio has, uh, all the updates from you know the CBs that I had known years and years ago. Things like uh, a USB charger, five pin mic jack, ANL noise blanker with a high cut uh, circuit built right into it. Other features on the radio that were pretty impressive to me is the automatic squelch control along with manual squelch control, uh, the CB and weather alerts, the emergency button which will take it to channel 9 automatically, and the fact that it is displaying the frequency right under the radio channel. Switching frequencies from the front of the radio is very straightforward and kind of a very ingenious space saving uh, way that they've got that set up. You press up or down on the face of the radio right in the center and it changes the frequency. Now if you don't want to reach down and change frequencies you can actually change them from the mic. It is uh, very easy and it works and if you hold down the button it'll go into a scan feature. Now if you're looking to uh, adjust the display color of the radio, uh, hold down that CB alert and turn the radio on. It'll put it into the color picking mode and then you can just uh, touch that center button there and run through all the different colors and it's so easy to pick it. You could pick the one that matches your Jeep, matches your mood, or in my case, I wanted it to be as visible as I can. To set your color option, simply turn the radio off, turn it back on, and it is now fixed in in operation mode. The back of the unit is simple and functional with an SO239 antenna connection, an eighth inch uh, external speaker jack, a large heat sink, and a uh, non-removable power cable. The President Bill ships with two mounts, uh, the regular bolt-in mount and this quick-release mount, which I think is super, super cool. Now I can talk about this thing all day long, but the proof actually is in uh, 
when you're using it. Hello, Channel 19. Anybody around? One more time for a radio check. Okay, great, thanks. Uh, I'm just trying a few things. Had a little issue with the Jeep, and uh, uh, I think my antenna got grounded somewhere. All right, I guess I lost you. Hey, buddy. Oop, go, uh, I stepped on you. Go ahead. How does the radio sound there? Break, break. Yeah, radio sounds real good. How does mine sound? I'm uh, trying to figure out a little antenna issue here. Sounds real good. Where are you at? I'm uh, in Penryn, right at the Penryn Newcastle uh, line, uh, a couple miles off the freeway. Oh, 10 4. What kind of yellow Jeep? I saw a Jeep just go by. No, I'm at home here. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a silver Jeep. Oh, 10 4. What's the handle on that side? I'm um, Bob. Uh, <laughs> normally ham radio operator, K6 UDA. No, this is a little mobile. I, I'm actually, uh, right now, I'm shooting a, uh, a video. Uh, I do uh, reviews of ham radio equipment, and I had President send me uh, this little uh, CB for the Jeep. That sounds good. I'm up by uh, Indian Hill right now, up by Newcastle, and you're doing uh, eight pounds right here. Uh, real good, real good. You're, uh, what, you're about four or five on, the, uh, on my scale here. Oh, fantastic! Um, yeah, this is uh, this is a little five watt radio. It's about the size of a uh, of a ham radio uh, handy talkie. Just a tiny, tiny little thing, but it fits really well in the Jeep. That sounds good for the size, no doubt about it. It's making a trip. Uh, very good. Yeah, thanks. Uh, trying to get everything set up for uh, for a trip to Moab. I've been there a couple times. Beautiful place. Ain't no doubt about it. All right, I'm starting to lose you now. Have a good day. Sacramento Roadrunner back down on 17. All right, real good. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the comeback. Talk to you later. K6UDA. Well, I guess I don't even have to say that. <laughs> Not on this channel. <laughs> All right, catch you later. Another thing that I really like about this is the uh, weather alerts. The speaker gets nice and loud. I mean, almost too loud. I'm getting ready to go on a big four-wheel drive trip, and I'm going with a bunch of other people. Nobody else in the group is a ham radio operator. Nobody else in the group has a ham radio in their uh, four-wheel drive. So having a CB is going to enable me to still communicate with the group. Anyway, the folks over at President CB were kind enough to send over this President Bill uh, CB. They said this would fit very nicely in the Jeep, and it really does. So President Electronics, knowing that I'm a ham radio operator and not an avid CB operator, uh, included this President Mag Mount antenna. This thing has enough coax to get all the way to the back of the Jeep from wherever it is. The antenna that President provides is a very sturdy mag mount antenna tuned for, uh, for the AM band, CB band here. It articulates back and forth uh, very nicely, about 40 degrees to either direction. The, uh, the mag mount is very, very sturdy great magnet so this little radio uh msrps for 99 dollars from president i found it on uh, amazon for 89 bucks roughly just a little bit above the price of a good tri-band bofang or a little bit below uh the bottom end dmr radios i uh i also found a package deal with the mag mount antenna for about 150 bucks on Amazon, uh, this is how this is how President shipped it to me. Am I going to use a CB radio on a daily basis? No, I'm not. 
Uh, I would be kidding myself, I would be kidding you and President if I said that this was going to be some kind of a daily driver radio for me uh, in the Jeep. But I have left it in the Jeep because uh, the weather radio, the weather function in there actually is very, very good and I could get updated weather information from National Weather Service anytime I want. And yes, I know. I could program that frequency into my uh, into one of my ham radios in the Jeep and do the same thing, but this way I still have two bands in the Jeep for ham radio and I can actually listen to the weather service also on the CB if I want to. Anyway guys, um, I know that this was out of the wheelhouse of ham radio, but it is radio and uh, again you know, it has its place. If you're trying to talk to people that don't have uh, ham radio licenses, if you want to, uh, if you want to kind of expand the horizon, so to speak, uh, when you're traveling, a CB could be uh, a good ticket for you. And in case you haven't noticed, uh, yes, the Jeep is back and uh, just putting the final touches on it and it is, uh, it is a done, done deal. So um, anyway, uh, follow my other channel for more Jeep updates and travel stuff and all kinds of other cool stuff that I might be doing. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share this thing on social media to get it out and uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think about this radio or whatever else you want to see here on K6UDA Radio. Guys, that's it for me. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3. Boom.